You know, it's funny. I saw a video of this lady that really pissed me off. She's some psychologist. And the world of psychology is the world of studying the mind. That's what psychology is. It's the study of the mind. And that's great. I Obviously, that's awesome. But if you're going to study the mind, you will understand that the mind is truly infinite. And if you're trying to study the infinite, you better be grounded in truth before you do that. Because it's a very easy path to become lost in the study of the infinite mind, right? And that's what I see with a lot of psychologists. They're full of bullshit because they're not founded in any truth. They just come up with things. You know, they really just come up with whatever anecdote that's a quick, easy turnaround. And then people are back in their chair the next week as a psychologist or therapist, right? The the study of psychology is has been so bastardized, right? But this lady who's a psychologist said, never say no. She's like, no is ugly. No is mean, right? No, it's it's a harmful way. Find a different way to say it. And I, I, I said, no. No, bitch. Right? No. Say no. Nothing could be more important, especially to teach a man or a woman the power. The power. I, I cannot emphasize this enough. The power of no. When you understand the power of no, your entire life will come into this idea of order. Here's why. Because if you say yes to everything, then you're a liar. It is impossible. It is impossible to be someone of integrity who says yes to everything. We call it being a yes man, right? It means you have no foundation. It is only through drawing a line between right and wrong and drawing a line with truth that you can actually be someone of integrity. Integrity is your power. Let's, let's take this back to understanding. Who really are we, right? Well, if we're going to understand who we are, let's first understand where we came from. And where we came from, we were created. We are children of God. So who is God? God is the creator of all things. When he speaks, when God speaks, everything obeys. Why? Why does everything obey the word of God? Because God is so full. He is the perfect embodiment of light and truth and integrity, which is also in of itself faith. All of these things wrapped into one idea of power, light, truth, and power. His power is in his integrity because when he speaks, his word is so unbreakable that even the elements must change in order to conform with his word. His word is his bond. His word is his power of integrity and light and truth. He is full of truth. When he speaks, it becomes truth. All other things will bend to his will because that is the power of God himself. We, as creations, as children of God, are given this same power. And this practice we must develop to have this power is the power of living in light and truth. To stand firm in our own word. You can't be full of integrity and light and truth if you're a liar. Because what's the opposite of truth? A lie. And by the way, a lie cannot exist on its own. A lie is a manipulation of the truth, is a variant of the truth. There is truth in all things because even in the lies, we can find the truth. A lie cannot exist on its own. It must be founded first off of a principle of truth. So, if you are not full of truth, then you are full of lies. And to the degree of truth that you have in your life, of power, of integrity, of your own word and will, is the degree of power you command in your life and in who you are. So the power of no means you draw a line. And your word becomes bond. Your word is your will. And when you draw a line, it means anything outside of this line is a no. It is unacceptable. It will never be entertained. It is a no. Not a maybe. No. Because when you speak with that authority, when you command, you must draw a line. That is the power of giving a command. So if you ever desire to even have control in your life or to even one day you know, speak with the voice of God to command the elements, you must be full of integrity and faith and light and truth. And you cannot be full of light and truth if you are a yes man. You must 
say no. And you must say no to everything that is not aligned with who you are and what your purpose is and who God has intended you to become. Everything that is not aligned with that is a no. And it's by teaching you the power of no, the world will always try to convince you and manipulate you to kind of break it down. Like, oh, don't be so harsh. Nothing could be farther from the truth. Because the truth draws a line. Like a sword, the truth is, it cuts. And so by saying no, you are drawing a line. You are establishing order or at least the barriers of your discipline. Again, what is the understanding of the word discipline? People talk about, oh, I want to be more disciplined. And David Goggins, he's so disciplined. What is discipline? Discipline is the practice of discipleship. That is discipline. It is the practice of being a disciple. A disciple of what? In order to be disciplined, what are you serving? Because discipline in of itself is nothing. Unless you serve something greater than yourself. Unless you serve a higher power or a purpose. That is the order of discipline. So when you serve, when you give yourself to something greater than yourself, that is your chosen discipleship or your chosen discipline. When you serve in that area, and in order to be a disciple, you must have standards. You must have what we call morals, right? There must be principles and doctrine and rules laid in place for someone who is disciplined. So in order to have discipline in your life, you must have the power of no. So even if we're talking about just becoming more fit, going to the gym, making more money, we talk about, oh, you need to be more disciplined. Yes, it's true. So how do you be more disciplined? You need to start saying no. Not maybe. Not, oh, Maybe some other time. No, no, no. You need to start drawing hard lines. You need to start drawing the difference between yes and no. What is aligned with you and what is not aligned with you. And if you can even understand your own word and your own discipline, and then everything else becomes unnecessary. Honestly, a distraction, right? So the power of no is the most important thing anyone could ever learn. It brings order and discipline into their life by learning how to say no. Learning how to look someone else in the eye and say no. It takes will. It takes strength. And guess what? It comes from a place of honor. Such an old word. But in order to have honor, you must say no. You must say no and say no a lot. Because when you say yes, now... Your word has power. If I say yes to everything, it has no power. If I say no to most things, but the things I do say yes to, I hold that to be law. When my word is law, not only to myself, as it is as integrity, right, or confidence, right? If I, if my word is my bond, then when I speak, even I obey. I obey my own word, and I expect others to do the same. That's the power of leadership and command. And in order to speak with that kind of power, when I do say yes, it will come to pass. That is also the power of prophecy. The power to speak, and it will become. To speak, and it will happen. That is why God is God, because when He speaks, it will happen. It is the power of His will. It is the power of our own will. That's why we call it willpower. Because it's our own will that drives the force behind our yes. So when we speak, everything will obey. But first, we must be able to obey our own word or the word of God, right? We must be able to learn how to obey because it is through obedience and by saying no that we develop this power. Right? So that's the power of no. Nothing could be more important than to start and obsess over what you can start saying no to. People are fat. People are obese. People are depressed because they can't say no. People have so many problems in their lives just because they can't say no. They don't have the strength or courage to say no. And if you try it, by the way, when I when you first learn this and you start saying no to people... 
you realize that people don't like it. But you don't care because you're aligned. You're aligned with what actually matters. And when you say no to people, it doesn't matter if it offends them. By the way, isn't that the whole point of truth? That the wicked take truth to be hard? It's for a reason. It's because truth cuts like a sword, but it also defends. So when you have the power to say no, then you have the power to also speak and say yes. Your yes now has meaning. Your yes and your word has power behind it. And that is the essence of who we are, how we create. People want to talk about manifesting. Pfft. Can't even manifest not eating the fucking donut. Right? You can't even manifest quit watching that fucking porn. You can't manifest. Don't, don't talk about manifesting and bringing this stuff in your life if you can't even master the word no. Nothing else will matter. Yeah, no, that's that's super powerful because it makes you think too, how strong is, how strong actually is your own word? I mean, do you even listen to yourself? <laughs> if you say, hey, I'm going to do this, are you actually going to do it? Exactly. Right? Like, because I mean, that's just a telltale of like who you are. It's like, oh, yeah. wow. It's like, I, I, I said I was going to do this, but I didn't actually do it. Yeah, no, that's, that's super crazy. I mean, just, I mean, myself, I mean, for people, here's an example. For people who are out here and they're, trying to you know better themselves uh you know financially let's say you're trying to make more money you 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 want to uh i don't i hate using this analogy but quote unquote escape the matrix right we could talk about that later sure one thing is people will then see oh wow i need to do drop shipping i need to create like an smma or a SaaS or do whatever and you you go through all these things and guys like split focus is a is a real thing right like when you actually splitting your focus on these different projects and different things, you, you actually go nowhere. Mm -hmm. You know, so something that's been super powerful for me in, in my journey being an entrepreneur is actually saying no to other ventures and other things where that would have taken my time from something I'm actually really good at. Right. You know, just saying yes to that one thing, like I'm going to become an expert and a master at this and I'm going to grow my skill set in this. And this is actually going to yield the most success. And what is that? That is you choosing your discipline. That is you choosing your discipleship towards that thing. Again, my discipline could be boxing, right? But if my, if my discipline is boxing and I'm always training Muay Thai and karate and all these other things, right? Well, guess what? You're not going to be very masterful at boxing. What is your, and again, we talk about samurai, right? Everyone loves talking about samurai because they're so disciplined. It's because they understand the power of discipleship. The word samurai literally means to serve. They serve a higher purpose. That's why they all are given a discipline and a duty. And they live with that. They live their entire lives surrounding this code of conduct, right? This code of Bushido and the samurai, right? That's the code of discipleship. So whatever your code, your creed, whoever you serve. Now, obviously, there is only one true God to serve. But if we're just talking about just accomplishing things, well, you have the power within you to serve whatever master. I hope you choose to serve the right master, but you could become a master of one thing, even if it's the wrong thing, and you could easily become the master of that if that's your chosen discipleship, right? Is that not what discipline means? We talk Again, people talk about, I want to be disciplined. Why? Well, because being disciplined is good. I just get like, no, 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 you don't understand discipline. You don't understand discipline. Discipline is only discipline when it is connected to something above you. Discipline is only real when you are a disciple of some form of service. You serve something greater than yourself, a greater purpose. So if you have a greater purpose, then you will have your chosen discipleship. Now it is up to you to choose that discipleship every single day or to choose anything else. And that's why the split focus thing, jumping around to everything else, right? There's a lot of shiny objects around here. It is, it is way easier said than, done, said than done, but that is ultimately the game. The matrix, right? It is The matrix is always a distraction. The whole world is a distraction. Everything is a complete distraction for you, and it's all chaos. So that's what the matrix is, is, some other creation by human beings to distract you. Distract you from your higher purpose and self and your chosen discipline.